What's up guys, welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ, welcome to my backyard. Y'all, today we're gonna be doing some lemon pepper pork chops and a little bit of garlic fried rice on my Pit Boss Ultimate Griddle. Y'all gonna stick around for this one. Team, we're out in the backyard today. It's a beautiful day here in Southern California. We got our Pit Boss Ultimate Griddle fired up. And we're gonna get some of these nice, thin, T-bone style, bone-in pork chops on there. Get a nice sear on them. And we're gonna build a little garlic fried rice on there. Cause you know, pork chops and fried rice go together like, I don't know, stuff that go together. All right, <laughs> just trust me. Anywho, so we did a quick marinade on these pork chops already. We did a little bit of uh, Caribbean Q's lemon garlic seasoning salt in there. So like I said, it's just like lemon pepper. You're gonna get that lemon citrusy flavor in there, a little bit of garlic. The garlic in that will match the garlic in the fried rice. You see what I'm doing with that? A little bit of olive oil. Let it marinate for about four hours. Uh, I suggest you at least do an hour, but you can do this up to overnight. So. Take that for what it's worth. All right, so that's it, guys. I mean, nothing more to talk about on this one. We're gonna use a metric ton of garlic in this fried rice. We got some bell peppers, got a little eggs, just a simple fried rice. Okay, guys, let's get this griddle fired up. Let's make this happen. Come on over. All right, guys, we fired up the Pit Boss. We're only using three burners. I like to keep the left one off most of the time, just as a little warming area. We're gonna get the pork chops searing off real quick. These are pretty thin. We're gonna take them to about 140 internal. Got my handy dandy little uh, meat thermometer here. I'll put a link down below to the website so you can grab yours too. We're gonna check the temps, get them to about 140, let them rest. That'll come up to the 145 where you wanna be, but it's just that simple, all right? Let's get these chops on, what do you say? All right, guys, time to get our little baby T-bones on. I'm not adding any oil or anything to it. Obviously, these have been marinating in oil. Get it unfolded. Aren't those adorable? Little baby T-bones. Little baby pork T-bones. Guys, these, uh, these pork chops, really, a minute or two each side. Get them nice and seared off, and that's all we're working with real quick. Next up, let's get the peppers on there. Get those sauteed off, then we'll add our garlic rice. We'll start building that fried rice. Everything should come together right about the same time. Are you good today, guys? All right, let's get these bell peppers sauteing. We're gonna add a little sesame oil to this griddle. It's about half a tablespoon or so. We're gonna add the bell peppers first, get them sauteing up real nice, and then we're gonna add the garlic. The garlic takes a little less time than these peppers, and we don't wanna burn them. Make sense? All right, getting coated. Then add a little uh, kosher salt over there just to kind of bring out the moisture in there. All right, let's give these a flip. Got a little bit more heat coming through here, so we got a little bit more crust on this one. We'll give it a little push on this one. Again, these aren't gonna take very long at all. Bell peppers are coming along real nice. Now it's time to add our garlic. Uh, again, you wanna give the peppers a little bit of time to saute and get softened before you add that garlic, because you do not wanna burn the garlic, okay? It gets a little bitter on you, but it's gonna come together nice, all right? Give it a little head start. We got a heavy two tablespoons on there. Let's get ready to add it. There's all that beautiful garlic. Start mixing this all together with the peppers. This is what's gonna keep the vampires away tonight, guys. All right, our pork chops are already the temp. Got them about 150, a little bit more than I wanted to be, but they're so thin, just is what it is. So we're gonna go ahead and take these off and let them rest. All right, they're looking lovely. Got a beautiful crust on there. It's gonna let them chill out. Right, so what we got here is a bunch of flavor, right? It's what they call fond. So we're gonna add a little bit of rice to that. It's gonna pick up all them crunchy bits, add up those flavor bombs. Whoa, got a little popping kernels. Gonna add a little bit of this toasted sesame seeds to it. Gonna start mixing our veggies and the garlic. We're picking up all those little crispy bits from the pork chops. Burning your hand. Just adding all that good flavor. I'm gonna add some soy sauce. 
get a little about a half a cup or so a little bit more a little bit less add a little dabbles of some sriracha and just to keep it consistent I'm gonna add just a little bit more of that Caribbean Q seasoning in there that lemon garlic I'm gonna throw a little green onions in while we mix it up and we'll leave the rest for garnish but this is pretty much kind of mimicking the wok hay that you get when you use like a wok but that's some beautiful looking fried rice right there guys it's gonna go perfect with those beautiful pork chops I'm gonna let this kind of fan out a little bit and then we'll pull this off i don't know where my mind is at but i forgot my scrambled eggs to put in there so we'll get those on and get them mixed up into the rice I'm telling you this fried rice you gotta do it quick want to let it cook just a little bit all right, good enough. All right, let's go. Let's mix them up. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's get this plated up and we'll give it a try. And you know we gotta get a little greenery on there. Team, we're done. Tell me that just don't look money in the bank to you. Garlic fried rice, little lemon pepper, pork chops. You know what's up. First off, we're gonna get a little bite of a little uh, little filet part of the T-bone. <laughs> My finger looking good right there. It's juicy, it's tender. Great citrusy flavor in there, a little garlic. No pepper in there. Good stuff. Let's get a bite of our little garlic fried rice too. Cheers. Yeah, that's money right there. <laughs> it's got a little of that citrusy flavor in there too. We put a little of that Caribbean Q uh, lemon garlic pepper on there. It all just melds well together. That is a wonderful, wonderful dish, guys. Easy to do. I'll have a link down below to my website where you can get a printable recipe for both the garlic fried rice and the pork chops. You can do this in your pan, cast iron. If you don't have a griddle like this, you know, I got you. You can do this in any pan you got in the house if you don't have a griddle outside. If y'all wanna get one of these Pit Boss griddles, all right, the Ultimate Griddle, I'll have a link down below. It's an affiliate link, but you know, I get a small commission, but it's the same cost to you, all right? Knives, cutting boards, merch any of the stuff i have on my videos are all down below if you want to become a show producer like all these lovely people right here talented groovy swinging cats out there hit that join button right next to that subscribe button which you should have already hit but that's it guys i hope you have a wonderful wonderful week thanks for stopping by thanks for cooking with cj take care